Hey guys, I'm Morgan. I'm Sam. And we are the, the React, React Pack. Pack. Today we're watching another episode of My Hero Academia. We're on episode 67, which is season four, episode four. In this last episode, we saw Deku go to see Night Eye to try to get his work studies done. He wants to work underneath him just to get like more practice and stuff. So All Might recommended. All Might didn't actually recommend him. Togata did. Togata. All Might took Togata and had Togata introduce Deku to Night Eye because All Might is feeling kind of weird about the situation. We're not sure the depth of that yet, but yeah. I'm sure we'll find out. But during that time, Night Eye gave Deku three minutes to try to take the stamp from his hand in order to stamp his paper so he could work underneath him. In doing so, Deku avoided all of the posters in the room of All Might and like all of the memorabilia that Night Eye had in there so he was impressed by that even though he never really got he never was able to reach the stamp and get it out of his hand because night eyes quirk is foresight so he already knew what deku was gonna do before he did it but yeah so he he got his stamp and night eye basically was like well, i was gonna give it to you anyways when you walked in so he wasted everyone's time yeah i'm just kidding <laughs> What a guy. He didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny seeing how much of a fanboy he is just as well as Deku is for All Might. I know. You gr you brought up a good point last time. I was like, if you, how can you be like so close to someone and still be like a fanboy? Yeah. Cause it, I feel like it would like fade away. Yeah, right? Because you. You get to know them. Yeah. They're like, oh, they're not that great. Like <laughs> I was a fangirl over you and then I actually got to know you and I was like. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, all my <laughs> all the figures. posters like, oh, you're coming over? Oh, no worries. <laughs> Let me just clean up really quick. Sorry, I'm just straighten up. But yeah. Oh, oh, and um, at the end, Aizawa came in and said that Tokuyami was expecting um, or he Hawks. needed to yeah, he needed to call Hawks because he Hawks is interested. And Yuraraka and Sue both got uh the Hado. Yeah, the girl, the girl the, from the Big Three, and right. then who got um, Kirishima? Yeah, Kirishima. Was a quiet guy who I really want to see more of him because he's so cute. Oh, Amajiki. Jiki. Amajiki. Yeah, I want to see what his quirk is. Yeah, that's all that happened. We're ready to get into it. But first, make sure to check us out on Patreon. We are four plus weeks ahead in our diamond tier. We also have subtitled uncuts on there. In our rose courts here, we are one week ahead and we host monthly Q&A's. So you we can come and ask us questions. In our amethyst tier, you can participate in our polls and also our monthly game nights. Join our Discord and come chat with us. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you're notified every time we post a new video. And follow all of our social handles below at the React Pack. Oh, they must feel so cool. Yeah. Look at his outfit. He looks like a slot machine. <laughs> Look at so many buttons. His outfit is so extra. <laughs> One thousand? One million? A million. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not what? follow that. <laughs> he doesn't want to, he can't save everyone, but he can, oh, here's a little But he can again. save lemons. <laughs> All villains are lemons. Oh, right? Is lemons. Every villain is lemons. <laughs> yeah, this was at the end. I didn't mention this. <laughs> Man, out of all the pla all the people run into. Is this new? Two, three episodes it. ago. Did we, is it? Yeah. This is the fourth time we're seeing this. Oh. Opening. Was I not? Have I not been paying attention to it? Pretty much. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we 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 were we paid attention the first one. It's okay. I I like. Oh the yeah, other okay, openings better. Yeah. I remember. I remember where. I've seen a, um, a horn girl. There's like a s exchange student with two horns that was mentioned in season three at the end. Oh, okay. But in My Hero. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, crap, we're, I hope we weren't getting another show confused. No, no. Because I remember mentioning the horns. I mean, like, oh, she has horns. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It was a 
Like she a, was in a different school. Yes. Yeah. But the, it was. She was just like it was just like a very sh- brief. Brief. Um, gotcha. So, but it was like rather interesting because it's like, why did they even bring her into play? Oh, he knows. Yeah, your expression. Gosh. Yeah. He's good at, like... Yeah, deflecting. Yeah. God, what do you do? Oh my god. Just grab her and run. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, sure. that's true, yeah. But this guy's so dangerous. You should just grab her and run, honestly. Yeah, it would be suspicious if they're just like, meh. Hmm. Um, absolutely um, not. In a dark alleyway, <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Oh, God. Um, oh shit, he's taking off his gloves. Uh oh. Maybe that's like a sign. Like he was gonna kill them or something? Like hurt them, yeah, so she did it to save them. Yeah. I mean, he has, like, a really powerful quirk, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought he was bleeding. I was like, wait, what? I want to see what she can do. Make bubbles. Oh, fuck. Shit. Is it his skin that bubbles when he uses it? Or... It was. That's fucking nuts. ゼンジツ強盗団が強盗中人を巻き込むトラック事故を起こした巻き込まれたのは地崎ら発災会だが死傷者はゼロだった強盗団が強盗撃墜を感じ気を失ったのはなぜか傷一つなく一どころか持病
Obviously not his dog. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like harvesting her quirk or something. Yeah. Case makes space. うん。ゲームザイこちらも他事務所と違う。ゲームザイ、こちらも他事務所と違う。ゲームザイ、こちらも他事務所と違う。ゲームザイ、こちらも他事務所と違う。ゲームザイ、こちらも他事務所と違う
Oh god. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. I know, me too. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is better anyway because he didn't have a court. Mm -hmm. He's gonna die. I don't think I'm going to be a handle if he dies. <sighs> well, when you put it that way, <laughs> come on now. This sounds kind of bad. I mean, yeah, quirkless middle schooler. Tokota has amazing quirk already. Yeah. Oh shit. No. Ugh. Oh, don't cry. Okay, this episode has no business being this emotional. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> Night Eye's best friend. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell me what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, I so love All Might. Yeah. Her kid. Maybe it is actually his kid. Maybe, Maybe. his like wife died or something, or and he's like trying to bring her back. I don't know. I thought maybe she might have been lab made, but oh. lab made. Like a child experiment or something. Yeah. 
I mean, he looks like he's torturing her because he has that table and then she has, like, bandages around her arms and stuff. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Someone's missing. Like, clothes? She probably has, like, a really powerful quirk and that's why they're, like, using her. Oh, maybe she, like, accidentally killed her mom or something. He's, like, angry at her or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um... Ah, oh, it's a good episode. And a little was... more insight into Night Eye and uh, All Might's, like, working past. And, I, I mean, I, you know, both are valid, you know. Yeah. In their opinions. Yeah. So, so he just wanted to, like, protect yeah. All Might. Yeah. But All Might needed to protect everybody else. I mean, that's a, that's a quirk, that foresight quirk that I feel like that just affects everything you do. I kind of expected that to happen. Yeah, Shigaraki coming around. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but there's probably going to be a plan within the plan. There's Shigaraki. always a plan and a plan. Shigaraki's not going to follow anybody yeah. except for what's his face. Um, All for one. Yeah. So they ran into him already. Oh, we Angie now? Now we Angie. Okay. Ran into that guy already and like. She would have been rescued. What were they? What should they have done? Like taken her? But he then could have killed them though. Look how easily he kills people. I know. Togata is right because like it wasn't Togata. No, it was uh Night Eye who said this that you know especially for like I'm I feel like he's like a very they're very intelligent villains. Yeah. So they have to work very very carefully to not arouse suspicion that they're on to them. Mm-hmm. But that sucks. Like all I could think about were the signs that you know were taught as like flight attendants when it comes to like yeah. human trafficking, like the signs that we're supposed to look out for while right. we're working. Yeah. And it's just like alarms going off. Yeah. Like like. Like what like ugh. you don't want to leave her yeah because but know, also like tough. yeah i mean yeah you have to be careful and she's just gonna get hurt more but like everybody could have gotten hurt like yeah. they need to night eye is right when they have to like they can't just go in there yeah you know mm-hmm. yeah that scene with deku and all might at the end was ugh. emotional they're just so so wholesome. wholesome yeah that's i was like what is the word <laughs> uh i love all Might. i really don't know what i'm gonna do if he dies i don't know i will not be okay i've grown so attached to that character yeah i mean i i feel like so if togoda did let's just say he did inherit all might's abilities would he still have his own plus all might's abilities i was thinking about that yeah. i'm not sure i feel like yes mm-hmm. like would he just be super strong and have his quirk that would be crazy yeah i mean i, I don't know i mean obviously i love Deku. So i think he was a great choice and i think he's proven he's doing really well so far so hopefully night i start to see that yes and has more faith in him yeah but that's hard for as somebody who can like see into the future it's hard to persuade someone that already knows like the outcome any different especially right. if he's never been wrong so how do you convince someone yeah that already knows the answer yeah that their answer is wrong i don't know yeah but yeah. and six or seven years in the future that's what he can see that's what he saw. Yeah. That's crazy. But it gets less and less accurate. Yeah. The further out it is. Which makes sense. Yeah. Is there any repercussion for him using his quirk? Uh, because, we haven't seen it yet. Because it's like, I feel like that's so, not that it's OP, but like you can constantly just like see the future like with everyone. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. I don't know what the, there's always like something with the quirk. Yeah. That's like downfall. I feel like it needs to have like a bit of a downfall. Otherwise, it's, there needs to be like some gray area just so that, you know, the future can change. But I don't know. Maybe. You know, time stuff always, I, I hope we don't get like too deep into like time and like, cause I, I, not that I hate it, but like in like shows and movies, like it's that, that it's, racks it's, my brain. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? you have to really think about it. <laughs> the, you know, butterfly effect and yeah, all that kind the of stuff. Yeah. The butterfly effect. Yeah. So yeah. it gets a little bit more complex and yeah. then they could twist it whichever, which way they want. You know? Yeah. So it's like, what? Like timeline and uh, yeah. just like all that. These guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, make sure you check out our Patreon or Discord and like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye.